If you guys are sick of investing and you'd much rather just buy coins, I completely understand. I'll leave a link to my coin sponsor, MMAJH, in the description. They are cheap, fast, and reliable. I highly recommend them. And if you use the code HABER, you get yourself 5% off your order. Enjoy the video, lads. What is going on, lads? And welcome back to a new video. Now, as you can see, we're looking pretty smart. We've got a blue shirt on because we're talking about Team of the Year. You guys know what it is. It's a promotional event on FIFA, and it's also an actual awards ceremony in real-life football where the best players and managers and coaches in the world, both female and male, get awarded for their achievements throughout the year, and they get a trophy, and, and there's a big award ceremony. And you guys know it usually so sort of takes place on January sort of 10th, somewhere like that. Well, there's been a change. Now, it's no longer called the Ballon d'Or or the Ballon d'Or Ceremony. They call it the hashtag best now. This was in, in, introduced, implemented um, last January or the January just gone. Um, so we already know that that change has been made because we already saw it implemented. But now they are changing when it's held as well. The next hashtag the best FIFA ceremony will take place on August 23rd, not August 23rd, October 23rd in London, uh, as opposed to in Zurich, Germany and January sort of 10th area. It's going to be October 23rd. Now, not only does that mean that the ceremony is a different time, but uh, EA usually release an 11 man team of the year when it's announced in the ceremony. Usually 11 players that are the best in the world were announced. Uh, or, or get announced and they get uh, special blue cards as you guys know the blue and sort of black cards this year uh, They get incredibly high stats like Ronaldo got like a 99, Messi got a 98, uh, 95 Iniesta That kind of thing and we get those in FIFA now it could change completely Meaning that we get them in October and the reason I say that's a massive change is because FIFA only comes out sort of late September anyway, so it's late September and then Less than a month later, we've all of a sudden got the blue cards in FIFA. Now, what usually works really well is because it's in January, people save up money um, over Christmas. People get Christmas money, stuff like that, because I know that the majority of the FIFA uh, fan base in the audience are more younger. I'd say younger, like between the ages of sort of 12 to 22, I'd say, is a pretty rough estimate of, of the biggest analytics on FIFA. So it's a bit strange to see now that October 23rd is the hashtag FIFA, uh, the FIFA hashtag the best uh, award ceremony where the top 11 get picked and the Ballon d'Or or the, the hashtag the best gets awarded to a player. So we could be seeing the team of the year in October. Now, this means that people will be spending a fuck ton of FIFA points at the start of the game. Excuse me for swearing, it's just a habit. And then all of a sudden, a month later, people are going to be spending hell loads more FIFA points again. And people just can't afford to do that. I know I won't be able to afford to do that. I want to. I don't. I want to drop a lot of money at the start of the game so I can make videos and make a lot of content and hopefully make the money back. Um, but I. I don't want to spend all that money and then a month later spend all that money again. Like I just. I simply don't want to do that. I want to enjoy money. I don't want to spend it all on beef points to make videos and stuff. And it's a little bit scary. Um, a lot of people, there's a lot of outrage right now. Uh, I say there's a lot of outrage. It's usually just Twitter and Reddit where people are bitching and moaning about it. It's the, the usual. But there is a lot of people right now getting upset and annoyed because we could be seeing this event in October. So I want to know what you guys think about that because I don't want it in October. I really don't. I'd much rather have it in January again. Uh, it gives me time so I can... Uh, I can you know, save up a little bit of money for FIFA points, etc. And I just, I don't know. I don't think that uh, October is the best date, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think down below. Thought I'd bring you this, this video, guys, because uh, there was a few articles about it, but it seems from what I've talked to people about, not a whole lot of people know about this. So I thought I'd bring the video and hopefully you guys are a little bit more educated. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, and thank you all for leaving the happy birthday wishes in the comments down below. Uh, my stepmom was very happy with them. So thank you for that. And I will see you later.